Hello, the, this is Prashant Gulakshya from AISSMS uh, Information uh, Institute of Information Technology, Pune, at the uh, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Uh, we can uh, discuss here abstract class and uh, constructor in a derived class. Uh, let's start abstract, abstract class. Mm, what is mean by abstract class? Uh, abstract that we at least one pure virtual function. One pure virtual function is said to be abstract. A pure virtual function is a member function that is declared in an abstract class but defined in a derived class. Uh, an abstract class does not create any object. Uh, it is what, uh, one of the important things. Abstract class does not create and any object and it contains one or more function for which there is no definition uh, in a base class. Uh, if class used only for uh, deriving other class is called as the abstract class. Uh, other way the abstract class means uh, to um, abstract the class from the end user by using uh, pure virtual function that is the syntax of a pure virtual function is a virtual is the keyword data type and their function name is equals to zero means there is a no definition uh, in, in this part uh, we, uh, those who are uh, inherited uh, we can write this definition inside the class uh, for example uh, class b that is a uh, uh, data is x publicly declared is a virtual white function function is equal to zero the virtual white function uh, is equal to zero is a pure virtual function that it means this class this class base class is abstract from the uh, outside the world uh, when this uh, um, abstract, uh, abstract class is derived that is derived class that is data is one publicly publicly uh, when it's uh, derived is mandatory is mandatory to implement this this uh, method uh, inside the class that is that is the simple concept of the abstract class or pure virtual function and uh, call it into the object by d, uh, d is the object and one is a method of uh, class that is called as a pure virtual function. <coughs> constructor in a derived class. Next topic. Uh, we can we can use the constructor in a derived class in C++ if the base class constructor does not any have any argument. There is a no need for any constructor in a derived class, but it there is a one or more argument in a base class constructor. Derived class need to pass argument to the base class constructor if both base and derived class have its constructor. Uh, base class constructor is executed first. And the syntax of the um, constructor is a derived constructor argument list one to whatever and uh, all the base class constructor argument list base class to constructor argument list and uh, body of a constructor for uh, we can go to the example program class a uh, having the data a publicly derived publicly declared as a constructor a having uh, parameters k uh, we can uh, um, passing this parameter to a and uh, class b is derived from a b publicly and uh, b is a constructor b is the constructor of a class b having the parameter of x and y column x x in this uh, constructor integer x parameter is the parameter of a class a constructor and integer y parameter of a uh, um, parameter of a B, B class, uh, class B constructor uh, and uh, argument list is A X uh, then uh, pass this Y to the B we can write a main function B 
obj to 3 you can firstly uh, invoke or firstly execute the a class a constructor and the uh, and the uh, second one second one execute by b uh, b class constructor that's it uh, okay thank you for watching this video